Parish, Prashant, and Parag are partners sharing profit and loss in the ratio of 4 is to 4 is to 2. Uh, Solicitor's form is PL ratio. De rakha hai. Trial balance de rakha hai. Capital of Parag is 50% of Prashant. Matlab agar Prashant ka 100 hai, to Parag ka 50 hai. Fir wo bol raha hai. And capital of Prashant is 50% of Parish. So, we have to say that 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 we अब अगर इनका कैपिटल रेशियो देखा जाए तो इट इज 100 इज टू 50 इज टू 25 व्हिच इज 4 इज टू 2 इज टू 1 तो ये एक इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट है कैपिटल रेशियो क्योंकि हमें टोटल कैपिटल दे रखे हैं तो एक-एक का कैपिटल कितना है वो हमें निकालना पड़ेगा 4 इज टू 2 इज टू 1 में हम डिस्ट्रीब्यूट कर लेंगे एडिशनल इंफॉर्मेशन दे रखी है क्लाइंट ऑफिस एक्सपेंस पे एडजस्टमेंट है and uh, sundry expenses for client adjustment and depreciation on fixed assets hai. fees to be received 45,000. This is what I want to say that the debtors are 1,69,500 and the fees to be received are 45,000. Fees to be received. The other sundry debtors are interest on capital 10% hai, or incomplete work at the end of the year 22,500. Hai. Now let us draw the lines. Prop 10 loss account is made on one page. And uh, balance sheet banadi, three fourth of the page and uh, partners capital humne bana diya so as to look at impressive thoda impressive lagega to partners capital bana diya rules hai trial balance is one effect same side adjustments two effects one debit one credit we'll start from the credit side of the trial balance total capital de rakha hai eight lakh forty thousand maine abhi abhi samjaya four is to two is to one me usse distribute karenge to that will turn to 4,80,000, 2,40,000 and 1,20,000. If you distribute 8,40,000 distribute to the by balance BD, you have written 4,80,000, 2,40,000 and 1,20,000. Total fees. Now, I have told you that total fees in property and loss credit side by fees. You have always done two parts. Ke, received and not received. This is total. 6,15,000. उसमें रिसीट कितना है नॉट रिसीट कितना है लेटर ऑन अपन जब एडजस्टमेंट सॉल्व करेंगे तब देख लेंगे आई फाइल हमने टोटल लिख लिया देन वी हैव अकाउंट्स ऑफ क्लाइंट्स अब ये लायबिलिटी है बैलेंस शीट में लायबिलिटी साइड जाएगा अकाउंट्स ऑफ क्लाइंट्स तो क्लाइंट्स अकाउंट्स इनर कॉलम में लिखा क्योंकि एडजस्टमेंट है एडजस्टमेंट होगी तो अपन इनर कॉलम में लिखेंगे और उसको लेटर ऑन सॉल्व करेंगे क्रेडिटर्स अब एडजस्टमेंट लेटर ऑन सॉल्व करने का फायदा ये है कि जब आप ट्रायल बैलेंस के 11 इफेक्ट दे देते हो तो इन केस अगर आपका सम छूट भी जाता है तो आपके अच्छे खासे मार्क्स रेडी हो जाएंगे पर कुछ-कुछ लोग एडजस्टमेंट्स करना साथ साथ प्रेफर करते हैं तो उस केस में क्या होता है कि अगर हमारी स्पीड कम है और हमारे से सम छूट जाता है तो फिर हम हमारे को मार्क्स का ज्यादा लॉस होता है तो इट इज ऑलवेज एडवाइजेबल कि आप ट्रायल बैलेंस शुरू करें ट्रायल बैलेंस पूरा भरा हुआ होगा एंड देन सॉल्व द एडजस्टमेंट्स इट विल स्टिल बी इजीयर क्रेडिटर्स दे रखा है 105000 Creditors 1,5,000 दे रखा है तो we'll write it in the balance sheet. Clients accounts के बाद हमने एक दो line छोड़ दी है क्योंकि adjustment है उसमें. Then we have uh, sundry expense ledger of clients. Clients के बाद पे जो expenses हमें करना बाकी हैं ये हमारी liability है तो हमने balance sheet में liability side लिखा in a column में करें क्योंकि इसपे adjustment है. Then we have accounts of clients. ये now we have completed credit side. Now we are onto the debit side. Accounts of clients 1,5,000 तो इसका हम डेबिट इफेक्ट देंगे बैलेंस शीट में एसेट साइड अकाउंट्स ऑफ क्लाइंट्स मैंने 10 टू 12 लाइंस छोड़ दिए हैं फॉर नॉन करंट एसेट्स फिक्स्ड एसेट्स के लिए देन वी हैव सैलरीज सैलरीज प्रॉफिट एंड लॉस में डेबिट साइड कोई एडजस्टमेंट नहीं है यू कैन राइट इट डायरेक्टली इन द आउटर कॉलम देन यू हैव बुक्स बुक्स आर नॉन करंट एसेट्स फिक्स्ड एसेट्स हैं तो यू कैन राइट इट ओवर हियर बुक्स इन अ कॉलम है क्योंकि एडजस्टमेंट है उस पे डिप्रीशिएशन की लेटर ऑन सॉल्व करेंगे देन वी हैव डेटर्स 169500 तो 169500 डेटर्स तो हमने डेटर्स लिख लिया 169500 करेक्ट 
Then we have stationary. Stationary is an expense, profit and loss, and debit side to stationary. Then we have bank, 67,500 bank balance. Hai. Our asset hai. correct. Bank balance, 67,500 asset side. Trial balance has one effect, same side. Then we have electricity expenses. Electricity expenses comes in the property loss account. You can write it directly in the outer column. Debit effect, trial balance has one effect, same side. Then office building is our asset. Write it in the assets. Books pay client chhod dena. Office building, 750,000. In the column, it's written because adjustment. Hai. Then there is a motor car. Again, it's a non-current asset. So building will be a client short dena motor car 150,000. Then we have office expenses. Office expenses you'll write it in the inner column because there is an adjustment. So 27,000 in the inner column. Then magazines and subscription is an expense. Magazines and subscription. I'm not client office expense because it's a little adjustment. Hai. Then we have postage is an expense. And then we have a furniture. So postage uh, comes in the PNL and furniture is our asset one like eighty thousand in balance sheet, correct? Now we have trial balance has one effect same side complete kiya. Now we adjustments read karenge. Har adjustment ke do effects denge. Ek debit effect, ek credit effect. Sabse pehle adjustment hai ki fifteen hundred rupees apn ne client ke liye pay kiya hai, par apn ne office expenses mein include kar diya. To ye ek error hai. तो उसको रेक्टिफाई कैसे करेंगे कि क्लाइंट का एक्सपेंस है पर अपन ने ऑफिस एक्सपेंस में डाल दिया तो ऑफिस एक्सपेंस में से माइनस पेड फॉर क्लाइंट अब याद रहे डेबिट साइड से आप माइनस कर रहे हो तो इसको बोला जाता है क्रेडिट इफेक्ट नाउ दिस इज क्रेडिट इफेक्ट अनदर हैज टू बी डेबिट इफेक्ट राइट इन बैलेंस शीट इन बैलेंस शीट डेबिट इफेक्ट देना है लायबिलिटी साइड क्लाइंट एक्सपेंसेस हैं उसमें से वो आप माइनस कर दोगे हमने पे कर दिए हैं 1500 तो ये आ गया इसका डेबिट इफेक्ट Every adjustment has two effects, one debit, one credit. Here we debit effect and here we credit effect. Correct? Client expenses, office expenses may include. So, we have minus office expenses. And our liability was client expenses which we paid. We have less than our liability. Then is 7500 received from a client for sundry expenses are credited in advance. We have actually given that he has advanced the fees, but actually he has given expenses. Ke liye diya hai. तो ये एक सिंपल uh, हम अकाउंटिंग एंट्री पास करेंगे कि क्लाइंट के अकाउंट में से माइनस कर देंगे क्लाइंट का जो एडवांस पड़ा है हमें लगा उसने फीस दे रखी है एडवांस पर उसने खर्चों के लिए दिया है तो यहां माइनस कर दिया करेक्ट और उन्होंने मुझे खर्चों के लिए दे दिया है तो इतनी मेरी और खर्चा करने की लायबिलिटी बढ़ गई करेक्ट तो ये यहां पे आ गया तो यहां से माइनस किया दिस इज क्रेडिट इफेक्ट और यही चीज यहां पे प्लस कर दी तो यहां आ गया डेबिट इफेक्ट हमने सोचा कि उसने फीस एडवांस में दी है पर उसने खर्चे के लिए दिया है Correct. So client's account is minus or sundry expense for client mein humne plus kar diya. Then there is 10% depreciation on building motor car. Right. So now we will write building 10%, 75,000 minus kar ke bahar likhenge. Motor car will be 10% here. I will minus kar deta hu. Aur aapko choice hai. To aap wahan par bhi yahan se minus kiya credit effect. Dusra property loss mein to depreciation debit effect. Ek ek karke bhi de sakte hai. But it is advisable ki aap 10% ki common rate hai. मोटर कार पे भी फर्नीचर पे भी बुक्स पे भी तो आप फटाफट वहां से 10 10% माइनस कर लो मोटर कार पे 10% इज 15000 आउट ऑफ कॉलम में 135000 फर्नीचर पे 10% इज 18000 आउट ऑफ कॉलम में 162000 बुक्स का 10% 5250 आउट ऑफ कॉलम में 47250 ये सारे के सारे आगे क्रेडिट इफेक्ट्स जो माइनस किए अपन ने दीस ऑल आर क्रेडिट इफेक्ट्स करेक्ट नाउ वी हैव टू गिव डेबिट इफेक्ट डेबिट इफेक्ट विल बी Property loss debit side, depreciation, motor car, furniture, and books. And the total will be 1,13,250 in the outer column. Next adjustment is fees to be received, 45,000. Now, I told you that debtors, 1,69,500 debtors, 45,000 fees ka hai due. Or as per cash basis, per jo not received part hai. 45,000 का जो हमें दिया गया है, correct, ठीक है, उसका मुझे reserve बनाना पड़ेगा, correct, अच्छा, total 6,15,000 है, 45,000 not received है, तो received कितना आया, वो अपने लिख लिया, now the rule says कि जितना not received है, उतने का ही reserve बनेगा, 
correct so to reserve for fees due 45000 now this is debit effect another should be credit effect it will go in balance sheet reserve for fees not received 45000 correct so i hope that's very clear 45000 not received hai to 570000 received hai uska koi matlab nahi hai 45000 ka hame reserve banana hai yahan pe humne debit effect diya aur balance sheet mein humne credit effect diya correct adjustments as two effects one debit one credit now interest on capital 10% now interest on capital is 10% i am continuing pnl to the next slide two interest on capital parish now 10 percentage so aapne already capital likh rakha hai na idhar correct ratio mein tha 4 is to uh, 2 is to 1 correct so 4 lakh 80000 ka 10 percent 48000 24000 and 12000 so interest on capital correct this is debit effect correct Every adjustment has two effects, one debit, one credit. This is debit, another should be credit in partner's capital account. You will write it by interest on capital, 48,000, 24,000 and 12,000. Then we have uh, incomplete work, 22,500 at the end of the year. Now, incomplete work. Now, this is work in progress, correct? So you will write credit side by work in progress, 22,500. This is credit effect. Every adjustment has two effects, one debit, one credit. This is credit, another should be debit. Work in progress, 22,500. This is the debit effect. Now, remember, the fees we have not taken, we have not done the work yet. So, we will definitely create this reserve. 22,500 to reserve for WIP, 22,500. This is debit effect. Loss is you have to keep it on the cash basis hai, so you have to reserve it. This is debit effect, another should be credit effect. You will write it in balance sheet, reserve for WIP. Now, all the adjustments are done. You will close the accounts. If you will total the profit and loss account, credit side, you will get 6,37,500 goes this side to net profit, 2,62,500, which will be transferred to capital accounts in their profit and loss ratio. What is their profit and loss ratio? Their profit and loss ratio is 4 is to 4 is to 2, which is 2 is to 2 is to 1. So if we'll distribute 2,62,500 in 2 is to 2 is to 1, you will get by net profit as 1,5,000, 1,5,000, 52,500. Now you'll just total it. 6,33,000 goes this side difference to balance cd the same way you'll total this 3,69,000 goes this side the balance is 3,69,000 you'll total this 1,84,500 goes this side difference is 1,84,500 ye debit effects aap ye likhoge balance sheet mein capitals paresh prashant and parag in total and if you tally you'll get 13,83,750 on both sides, right? So the important point was, debtors, jo hai, sare ka sare ka mat bana dena. adjustment mein likha hai ki fees ke debtors, usme 45,000 ke hai, to reserve banega sirif 45,000 ka, ye is make new point thi.